Michael Arts is here at Strawberries Grill in Douglaston, New York, just footsteps away from what used to be Shea Stadium. The new stadium is City Field. We're here broadcasting live thanks to the Teradek Cube. It's a device that goes on top of your camera and plugs into the camera and allows you to stream live anywhere in the world as long as you have an internet connection. It's truly amazing. Now, we're here for the 25th anniversary celebration of the 1986 Mets World Series Championship. I, I never even thought about being here, but I would have given my right arm to sit next to you guys or talk to you during the World Series or be in the dugout or anything like that. I was a big fan. Joining us now, Rick Aguilera. Rick, 25 years. Can you believe it's gone by that quick? Really can't. Sitting here with some of these guys, I and mean, we got the guys, game six going on right now, and it's all, all kind of coming back to like it was yesterday. I mean, obviously, it's been 25 years, been a long time, but it's amazing when you kind of get back together with a bunch of guys you played with and watch a game like that. It seemed like it was yesterday. You guys were a special team. There's no doubt about it. You have a special place in New York's heart. Why do you think you were so special? Was it the hard nosed play? Was it the never say die attitude? Was it just the the fact that you you were so New York, you, you kept the pedal to the metal and, and you never wanted to take it off. You you know, if you were beating a team by three runs, you wanted to be beating them by six. Well, I think you, I think you hit it right there. I think we were so New York. I think it was just a, a team that New York would embrace. Um, you know, we were a cast of characters. It wasn't always, um, you know, the best things in the press every morning after a game or a road trip or something like that. But... Uh, we, uh, you know, we, we played hard between the lines. We played hard as a team together, um, and I think, you know, the the, the city embraced that. And um, if, obviously, able to be able to carry it through to be a World Series champion. Did you ever laugh at the headlines, or or did, or did you take them to heart? Uh, I think well, I always commented where there, there's so much media and so many papers that, with all of them going on, there's got to bound to be something said that's going to be positive about you. So you just don't take it too personal. Well, what was your favorite memory of, of the 86 season? Well, I see a lot of this stuff here. I think, we, you know, it was a, you know, I think it was pretty evident in spring training camp that it was, it, was a, it was a special team, a good group of guys, a lot of talent. Just, you know, a matter of seeing if we can all pull it together. Um, you know, great coaching staff, Davey, and we had all the particular players, you know, to kind of fit in for those specific roles. We had, and, and, and it, throughout the season, all of a sudden, we were winning, you know, winning every series we were playing. We're winning, you know, getting close to winning the most games that the organization ever won in a season. And, like, we knew we were a special team. You know what's interesting is Frank Cashin once said that you and that uh, Ron Darling were the key to the team. But it seems like there were so many keys. Everybody you look at had a key role at some point in the season. Sid Fernandez, um, you know, Jesse Orozco, Roger McDowell. That's only on the pitching staff. You, you talk about Tim Tuffle and... Uh, you talk about Howard Johnson and Wally Backman and Lenny Dykstra, and Mookie Wilson, and of course, Daryl Strawberry and Keith Hernandez and Gary Carter, and the list just goes on. And it seems like, to me, it's one of the only teams that I've ever seen play that every person, even a role player, played a key role in the season. Uh, and, I, and I think that's a good point. I think everybody had their moment. Everybody had their run. Everybody had their hot streak. And I mean, I don't recall statistically if, if there was any kind of like career years with any, any of the 25 guys, but some point during that season, we all contributed in a, in a big way. And I, and I think that's what makes a championship team. How proud are you that you were a member of that team? Well, every time you come back to New York and you're embraced by the fans, I mean, nobody has forgotten it. I mean, obviously the Yankees have had some great years here. And our, our, our years in, in the mid 80s, New York was the team, and I think we'll always be embraced for the kind of, again, the type of a team that New York would embrace, and I think that'll go on forever. What are you doing off the field these days? What are you, what are you doing? What, how has life been treating you? I, I got a couple kids. I got a daughter in college, a son still at home, at, uh, a sophomore in high school. I've been active coaching at high school for seven or eight years now, maybe more than that, but, um, you know, still my hand in some, in some youth baseball, nothing professionally. Um, so got one, yeah, I said one more boy at home, and then when he's gone, then maybe there'll be an opportunity somewhere else. We'll see. Awesome. Well, it sounds great. What about this event? Daryl put it together, and how proud are you of what he's accomplished off the field these days, turned things around, and really done an amazing job, his charity, his foundation, this restaurant, and putting this together and bringing you guys together? Well, you know, my first time here at, at his place, you know, and, and we're so, as, as a team, we're proud of Daryl. And just overcoming all that stuff and doing well, and just great to see that he's uh, getting the opportunities here in New York. Fans love him, 
and I think it's a great spot for him. This has been a great evening. Well, Rick, thank you so much. It's a pleasure to meet you and, and to interview you, and an honor to be here celebrating with you guys. I, thank you. It's been a great, great night tonight. Congratulations.